The internet provides the ubiquitous connectivity on which the world now relies. However, few understand the remarkable foresight that guided its design. Although the avalanche of implementation details may bury the true beauty of the internet's architecture, some researchers point out there may be a simpler approach to understanding its magnificence. Join us as we speak with Scott Schenker at the University of California, Berkeley to discuss extracting the essential simplicity of the internet. I wrote this paper with two longtime colleagues, Murphy and George, and we wrote it out of a long-standing frustration. We find the internet both interesting and inspiring. Most of our research colleagues find it neither. So we wanted to try and address that. Now, if you think that understanding the internet involves understanding the details of all of its protocols, then you're right, the internet isn't very interesting. But what we tried to do was not master all of those details, but try and extract the simplicity of the internet, the core concepts that make it such an intriguing and revolutionary infrastructure. That's what we tried to do in this paper. Despite the internet's brilliant and daring design, the thesis is that the simplicity of the internet lies in the answers to three questions. The first question is, what do you want the network to do? And the answer to that is deliver packets in a best effort way. The second question is how do you want to arrange that functionality? It's not the details of the mechanism. It is what is the architecture, what software designers would call the modularity of the internet. And that's the layered design. And the third question is of the various mechanisms that are involved, what is the core concept behind them? And the three key mechanisms of the internet are routing, reliability, and resolution. So if you answer those three questions, you understand the simplicity of the internet. While the internet is crucial in all of our lives, so are other utilities such as highway systems and the electrical grid. So the question begs, why should we understand the internet? I think the real reason why people, at least in the computer science research community, should understand the internet is that it has lessons for all of us for how to design infrastructure that lasts. And the internet has. For over 40 years, it has remained almost completely unchanged, but yet has accommodated these massive changes. While the authors provide important lessons for all computer scientists to follow towards the growth of a future internet, what may be most important now is recognizing the factors shaping that future. It's not always just about the technology. It's often about the community. That is, do you have a group of people who believe in a change and is that change worthwhile and the community work together? The second lesson is in tolerating failures. Just as the internet succeeded because it learned how to tolerate failures as normal course, we in research need to treat failure as a common occurrence. The internet pioneers, they proposed a radical technology that probability of success was very low, but yet they stuck with it. They had the courage of their convictions and they leveraged a community to make those convictions a reality. We need to have that kind of courage too, and that means accepting failure as an ordinary part of our research careers, and that's something that isn't true now. Find out more in Extracting the Essential Simplicity of the Internet, a contributed article in the February 2023 Communications of the ACM.